بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس یسٹرڈے وی میڈ ٹریڈنگ آف دی لیسن آئی ہیو اے ڈریم وی ہیڈ آلریڈی کور دیز فرسٹ ٹو پیراگرافس ناؤ وی گو ٹو دا تھرڈ ون اینڈ دیز ٹو پیراگرافس In the first paragraph, Emancipation Proclamation, we are introduced to it. And in the second paragraph, we are told that the black people in America, they do, did not get the promises which was promised in form of the document, Emancipation Proclamation. Now in the third paragraph, in, in sense, we have come to our nation's capital to cash a check. Martin Luther King says that in a sense, we have come to our nation's capital. Nation's capital means capital of America. What is capital of America? That is Washington. So he says that we have come, we have gathered all the black people have come on call and gathered in the capital of America to cash a check. Here cash a check means to, uh, to get the benefits of promise. Check means promise. Basically, this is a check. Emancipation pro proclamation where the black people were promised their basic rights. So to cash the check means that We want to get all the promises which were promised us uh, 100 years ago by, by Abraham Lincoln in form of Emancipation Proclamation. So Emancipation Proclamation is like a check and we have come here to draw that check. When the architect of our republic wrote the magnificent words of the constitution, and the Declaration of Independence. They were signing a promissory note to which every American was to fall heir. When the architects of our republic, architect is a person who makes maps for and for a building. For the construction of a building. So architect is basically an engineer who makes maps for the building of a for the construction of a building. Here Martin says when the architect of Republic, Republic Republic, Republic of America, who were the architect of Republic, who wrote the magnificent for the constitution. Architects mean leaders, leaders who made America and they made its constitution, its law, the law-making authorities of the Republic of America wrote magnificent words in magnificent, wrote the magnificent words. So this is the very splendid words, golden words. They wrote the constitution with very beautiful words and the declaration of independence and declared the independence of America and made law for America they were signing a promissory note so when they were making this constitution this law of America all the architects the leader when they were making the law of America basically when they were making a law which was promissory which had great promises promissory note which had which had great promises to which every america was to fall heir and that all the americans american republic american nation american people will uh, get the benefit of that those promises promissory note which every american was to fall heir heir means something which comes to you from your predecessor, from your forefather, from the past. 
so it will uh, fall here with the people who will get the benefit of this constitution and this constitution and made a promise with the American people that they will get particular particular uh, benefits facilities particular rights from this uh, declaration this note was a promise that all men would be granted the unalienable rights so what was the promissory note promissory note was here it is a promise that all men would be granted will be given all men will be given the unalienable and unalienable rights unalienable rights are the rights which nobody can take away nobody can snatch the rights which are very much essential for you it cannot be separated unalienable separated unalienable which cannot be separated from you from so these are the rights of american people what were the rights unalienable un alienable rights which were the rights right of life right of proper uh, liberty and pursuit of happiness these were the rights that everybody in america has a right to uh, to improve his life by his own wish and will that all every american will have liberty freedom independence freedom of speech freedom of movement and pursuit of happiness pursuit means to go after that he will pursuit of and he will have a right of pursuit of happiness to anything he can which suits him for the happiness he can do that nobody can stop him so this was a promissory note the next paragraph it is obvious obvious means clear it is clear today that american has defaulted american has defaulted on this promissory note now martin luther king says that the american constitution american law promises the basic rights of life liberty and happiness to all the americans but after even 100 years american has defaulted there is a fault with the american constitution on the promissory note that the what they promised that was not given to the black people in so far as her citizen of color are concerned who are the citizens of color of america color means black people and so far means as much as her citizen of color are concerned mean it's not to everybody of uh, all the republic all the people of america that they were not given the uh, basic rights it's only colored people that they were uh, deprived of their basic rights instead of honoring this sacred obligation america has given the negro people a bad check instead of honoring this sacred obligation what is sacred obligation sacred mean something very holy park holy obligation duty means it was duty of the architects the leaders of america to grant the basic rights to the black people but what happened these this sac sacred obligation this holy duty was not met america has given the negro people a bad check they have given them bad promise they have not fulfilled their promise the leaders the, uh, the 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 constitution of america has not fulfilled the promises which were made to the black people a check when which has come back mark insufficient funds so that insufficient means inadequate because of lack of funds because lack of money or sometimes if you go into the bank so if you don't have money in the bank you have, your check is bounced check comes back because you have insufficient amount in the bank so was the so was 
uh, with the American black people that they were not given their rights. But we refused to believe that the Bank of Injustice Justice is bankrupt. But Martin Luther King says that we refuse, we do not admit to believe that the Bank of Justice is bankrupt. Bank of Justice, Bank Justice is also like a like a bank where in the bank money is distributed, money is given, but what happens in the justice, when the bank of justice is there, it means the basic rights of people. That the bank of justice is bankrupt. Bankrupt when you have no money in the bank, you are bankrupt. So Abraham, uh, so Martin Luther says that American people do have sufficient funds. The American Bank of Justice is not bankrupt. There is too much, uh, there are great resources in America which are just assembled in few hands of white people. They, those resources should be given to the black people according to justice. We refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in the great vaults of opportunity of this nation. So we say that we do not believe there are insufficient funds, lack of money in the great vaults of what means ceiling, spillers which, which support a ceiling of opportunity. Means there is great opportunity. America is land of opportunities, a huge land with all the resources of this nation. So, Martin says that the American land is full of great resources, natural resources. But what's the problem is that those resources are just massed in a few hands and those few hands do not lose their hands so that that prosperity should go forward trickle down to the poor people of black Americans. So we have come to cash this check. So Martin says that we have come in Washington and we have gathered this rally. We have uh, made this call for protest, for peaceful protest to cash this check means to, to remind the American leaders to give, to pay some attention to the rights of the black people a check that will give us on demand the riches of freedom. The first thing that was promised in American constitution was freedom for all people. So he said that these are something rich. This is like a wealth. Freedom is like a wealth, riches. So we need that freedom first of all and the security of justice. Then that all the people are equal. There should be justice. We have also come to the hallowed hallowed spot, we have come to the hallowed spot, hallowed means holy spot, holy place, means Washington to remind America and the fierce urgency of now that this is, that we need our basic rights, urgency, urgently, but we, we, we need it now, fierce means, uh, fierce means uh, uh, to a large extent, extremely need, urgency of this is no time to engage in the luxury of cooling off. This is not the time to, to, to be, to be uh, carefree, uh, to cool off, to be inactive. This is a time to be very active, to work with hot blood, or to take the tranquilizing of gradualism. And that we should not tranquilize is basically uh, something which makes you senseless. But tranquilizing of gradualism, some people gradualism is also terrible which gradual, gra gradual means slowly. Some people when are uh, they are addict of doing these things slowly, they cannot be fast. So slow gradualism is like a tranquilizing tranquilizers who make you senseless. So he said that we do not want to go deep into gradualism, slowness, we don't want, we should not be slack, we should not be lazy, we should be quick, we should be 
very active to get our rights. Now is time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation. Uh, I think it's enough today and uh, I hope you do just go through this lesson once again and read, study all the, and again I will uh, uh, advise all of you strictly to follow the lectures and also show your presence, active presence on uh, in online classes. Best of luck. Allah is till tomorrow.